Uh, okay, hello, welcome. We're going to be playing some Quake 2 tonight, and then maybe some Dwarf Fortress a bit later on. I feel like I want to play some Dwarf Fortress. Um, where is that game located? It is under Steam. That's where it is. Where it's always located. There we go. Okay, so last time I think I was rather close to. Ooh, we actually get the intro this time. Id. Uh, an important detail. It's a lower ID. <laughs> Not capital ID. It's lower ID. Anyway, uh, we were up to. Thank you. Uh, everything's going right? Yes, it is. Okay, also, we're starting a bit later tonight. Oh well. I apologise for that. Uh, things are uh, up in the air. So, where were we were up to? This one, launch command. Yes, that's right. We're in the outside area, and we're looking, admiring this large spinny orb thing here. It's quite impressive. And I think there's only this one and two more units left in the game, from what I remember seeing. And I think this is close to the end of the third unit, so there's mu not maybe not much more to go in the game. Ow! Sod. Uh oh. There you don't. There we go. And get that. I like those doors. The way they open is quite nice. I just it's just appreciating the differences it has in the level. Uh oh. Uh more of these tank guys. Where's my rocket launcher? There it is. Ow. Okay, that's one down. And he got stuck in the door. There we go. And... Ow! I think they shoot where you're going to be. And I hope I didn't mess anything up by blowing that up. Ow. Ooh, that's right. We have the, uh, rail gun. No, no I don't. I haven't got any slugs for it. Ah. Uh. Ow. Uh, let's just go through here. And we'll go up and deal with him. There we go. Chamber 1 deactivated. Did I press that? I suppose I did. What are we doing? Destroy the black hole generator. Shut off the coolant to the CPU core. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Uh, their peripheral vision is not that good. Get you. There we go. Oh. More of them. 
I'm gonna use a grenade launcher. That'll be good for bouncing around these corners. Okay, there's one. Oh, there's one of those uh, technicians, as I was told last time. I still like calling them baked bean cans, so what they look like. Ah. Ow! Damn it. Oh. Running around with 18 hit points. Is there anything over there? No. Okay. Let's not try. I'll probably just get stuck. Okay. Yep. Okay. There's something there. There's something purple. Or is that the black hole generator in there? The purple is the black hole. No, the other one. Come on. I do like how this game has, like, damage effects. As they take damage, they get holes in their armor and more blood effects on the body. And it also changes from sparks to blood when you shoot them. I can't remember whether that was a thing in Quake 1. Well, I played Quake 1.5, so that wouldn't have been representative of the base game. There we go. Careful of the, uh, the guy up there with the rail gun. Let's use this on him. Yeah, careful, careful, when I get shot. Not enough cells for the BFG 10,000. <laughs> oh, I didn't turn it off. Okay. Turn the lights off. We'll save power. And... You. And there. And there. Come on. There we go. Uh, what's this? Oh. Purple goop. Important for every space base. Uh, let's try that again. It's a grenade they throw. There we go. They just throw like three or five grenades in a row. It's an awful lot. You're coming with. There we go. Come on, you. Ow. 
Ow. I should have used this at this range. There we go. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that again. There we go. Let's go for the other one. Okay, okay. Oh, there you are. Did you kill the, uh... Iron Maiden? No, you didn't. Okay, now. Let's, uh, save. So I don't have to do that a fourth time. Did I get him? No, I didn't. There we go. Come on. Okay. No, not that thing. God, enough with these guys. Especially facing it both ways. I suppose you just sort of have to... Like, get them to shoot each other? Would they fight each other? They're the same type of enemy. And I... In, pre in Doom, enemy two would only attack each other if one of them was of a lower ranking. So, you know, two, uh, what's it called? Two imps would never fight each other. However, an imp and a zombie trooper would fight each other. Because the zombie trooper is lower on the rung. One more to go. I didn't need to use the other elevator. Okay. Destroy the black hole generator. Shut off the coolant to the CPU core. Exit. Okay. Uh, do I have to go in there? Oh, there's some health in here. Get that. And up there. And hmm, over here. Blah. Get out of here, you lot. Ow. Kaboom! Oh, it's one of those guys. No, it's not. That's a railgun guy. Ow! Railed by Gladiator. Lovely. We did save, so...
Did I save after I picked up that? No, I didn't. I don't think I turned this off either, so let's do that again. Up! I said hop! 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 Come on! Hop! Hop! Don't do this to me, game. Hop! Ugh. Hop! Hop! Thank you! I mean, previously I just had to go up to the ledge and then he propelled, then I got propelled out of the hole or out of the water. That got it. I think there's another one though. Oh, we're up here. Is there another Iron Maiden up here? There is. Splat. That's it. Ow! I totally meant to do that. There we go. Chamber 1 deactivated. Ooh, armor. Right, yes. Oh. <laughs> I like how the little missile thing on their shoulder swivels around when they sit, when they are aiming at you. Oh, did you blow up one of the crates? There was some health in there. Thanks, Muchly. Can I blow up any of the others? I can. Okay, so the ones with the hazard si hazard lines on them can be blown up. Hazard stripes. Okay, now what? Do I just go here? No. <sighs> Destroy the black hole generator, shut off the coolant to the CPU core. So this is like two arms of a... I did that. The core CPU has locked this door. And this is the other one, which did I do? The lights are on here still. No, I didn't. There we go. The stroke need all these big levers and stuff because, because they're, they're very clumsy. I mean, you know, if you had something like that attached to your arm, you would need a big lever to be able to move, to grab onto as well. Some of them don't even have hands. I mean, this one doesn't. Not anymore. Blah. There we go. that CPU core? I don't think so. Our core is this giant spinny thing. Boop. That looks weird. Oh! But Okay, I shot- I just shot the power core. Oh no, the big spinny thing's gone. Primary unit objective is complete. Launch systems destroyed. Force field disabled. Proceed to exit. I think that's the game's way of saying we done good. Uh, go over here, do we? No.
down. There's some grenades in that explosive box. Uh. Now we watch as I wander around the corridors. A mini map would be very useful. I'm going to go back to the beginning just to see if there's any health I can pick up. Oh, there's some armor. That's nice. That's not the exit. Hey! Look at that! There's some aircraft flying around. That's nice. Th those look like our guys. Okay, so... I suppose it's this way. Yep, there we go. That was what I was looking for. What's this? Oh, just coolant areas. Oh, there's big cracks in the glass there. Well, okay. Secret area. Ammunition. Those rail slugs will be nice. And up, up, up. There's another secret somewhere. This level seems to be quite small. I'll have a look for that. So, if I was the secret, where would I be? That's nothing. Those are just bullet holes. I don't think there'd be a secret in one of these rooms. Ow. I feel like there'd be one here. Maybe. Oh. Hmm. Nothing behind there. <sighs> Gonna check outside once more. That's the CPU room up there. Right, right. There's an invisible wall there. Hmm. You, no. Um. Well, whatever. Let us go to the exit. I don't think it's up here. I always wonder whether it's underneath the lift. No. What about the other one? No. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anything up there. Okay, fine. Is there anything down there? There was some health down here, but there's not like a crack in the wall or something which I can blow open, is there? Uh, no. Not that I can see. Okay, well. Come on, get. Thank you. Maybe you don't have to press jump to get out of the water? Hmm. Primary unit objective complete. Retrieve the airstrike marker. Uh oh. I heard angry people. Are you... a buddy? No, you're not.
Uh oh. There's a dude over there on a rocket launcher. Oh, turret. Yeah, let's deal with this another way. Hmm. Blue. <laughs> um, over here. Good. Ooh. That looks suspicious. Oi. Ah, oh, great. Flying drone things. <clears throat> no, not that. This. This is at least useful against these guys. Maybe not against it. Okay. Uh, I keep feeling like the ground's going to break out from underneath me with these cracks in it. I'm surprised there's grass around here. I would have thought the strong homeland, homeworld, or whatever, would have had basically no uh, flora on it at all. The uh, airstrike doohickey. Place airstrike marker in the receptacle beside the fuel pod. <laughs> Did the strog have like a receptacle on the fuel pod for just specifically for airstrike units? Come on. There we go. Ow. Where do you come from? There we go. Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> he was stuck. Ooh. It's a perfect fit. Ah. Uh. Is there more health this way? Computer updated. Computer updated. Ow! Bollocks. Oh well, there is some stuff down here. Yes, yes. Target destroyed, proceed to exit. We're really carrying this entire mission. Oh no! Get away from me! Oh, forget you lot! What do they eat when I'm not falling in here? Oh, all of you. Yes, okay, good. Oh, there's some more health in there. That oh, there's a result of our hand hand to handiwork. Uh. Mm. 
Okay, I need that health. Give it to me! Nom nom. No monster closet? nothing in here just like a little bunker okay I mean that's pretty cool uh, over here oh no we blew up the exit sign how will we exit the level now poor exit sign I don't, I don't like the sound of that. Uh, rumble, rumble. Okay. Nothing. Right. Initiate scan. Acquiring. Acquired personnel located. Robos air threat neutralized. Black hole generator destroyed. Proceed to palace area. Locate strong leader codename Necron. Terminate with extreme prejudice. <coughs> what they call that? Strogos. Terminate with extreme prejudice. Okay. I think the sounds there were running ahead of the animation. The animations seem to lag a bit every now and then. I'm not sure why. Oh, well, good thing that didn't hit us. Neutralize strong leader's communication system. Find functioning data spinner in outer courts. Okay, so apparently this place is called the uh, palace. We may be able to finish this tonight. Uh, and you. Uh, no. And there. There. Come on. Yeah, you keep doing spins in the air. Ow, 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 ow. And you. There we go. Damn it. Yeah, I'm not going out there until we've dealt with all these things. Get! Get it! And you! Okay. We can deal with this guy up there. There's an invincibility thing up there. Someone behind me? No. I bumped into something. Did we get him? I think we got him. Hello. Ow. I'm cutting it real close with firing that so near to the edge. Okay. Uh, best way to take out these flying guys. God, it's hard to hit the flying swords with grenades. Rockets. Yeah, the other things. They don't bounce. This is stupid.
Okay. I heard ya. Come on. There we go. And... They're all wandering around down there. <laughs> I think they're dead. I'm not sure. Something about the jibs down flying up here might have given it away. Forty. Uh oh. You. Oh, you dropped armor. Yay. Uh, let's do a save. You know, when they say outer courts, I expect large, like, lush carpets and all that. I don't think the strog are going to be much for that. And over here. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Is there anything else in here? Ooh, there's something. Haha! -ha! Some health and a power shield. I don't think there's anything in here. No. Okay. Ooh, there's something up there, though. Oh, I see. You have to, like, hoppity hop across there. Oh, I don't need that, because I've still got one and I haven't used it. That's probably to open the door. Let's hold off on using that for the moment. Okay, come on. There we go. How many secrets are there in this? Five. Oop. A secret door has opened elsewhere. Hmm. Is it this? This door has opened elsewhere. Oh, is that door elsewhere? That better not have been a timed thing and I missed it because I didn't immediately go for it. That would be annoying. Hmm. How do we get down? Without getting hurt. Slide, slide down the... Uh, Okay. Would it be in here? No. Oh! Secret area. Let's save. Hello, hello. Uh, nice, nice. Anything behind there? No. Okay, well that's cool. Two out of five. There's still that door up there, though. Is that open now? Hmm. 
No. So there must be another button somewhere else. Which does a similar thing to that one. Mm. Ow. <laughs> does it alternate? Well, it doesn't matter. There's a massive flaw in their design. Ooh, he looks different. He's got red color to him. I think he was tougher. Okay. Oh, hello. Ooh. Some good dodging there. Uh oh. They're sending everything after me. That is a lot of dudes. That's pretty useful for that circumstance. Uh, okay. Do I shoot that? No. That looks nice. The quake symbol's off there. Is quake symbol like also the symbol of the strog? Whether it's red marble or red stone. It's not carpets, but it's something. I suppose with all these robots walking around, they don't want to have soft carpets. They just tear them up. They'd have to be replacing them constantly. No, oh, my rockets! Oh well. And you... Where'd you come from? Come on. There we go. Uh oh. Ow. Let's not use this against you. Okay, anyway, we'll go get some more of that ammunition. I think there was some more ammunition for this back here. Yes, it was. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, did we forget about you? No? Are they resurrecting them? Good gravy they are. This was a bad idea. Yeah, they just released those guys. And then they resurrected them all again. Except I think those, uh... Hover... Jet things... Appeared. Because... They explode upon death. And I don't think they can resurrect them if they don't have a corpse. I would assume so.
Okay, so does that mean the door up here is open now? I haven't gotten a message about it. Oh, it is. So that just opens when that siren goes off? That's my assumption. Up. Up. There's some health in here. Wow, well, that's useful, but I've got full health. Now can I get full, keep full health while dropping down here? Yeah. I didn't take any health damage. Did I take armor damage when I fell? Okay. I'll do a save. And we're going pretty well on the secrets, actually. Now this looks cool. Ooh. Lower palace. I'm going to go back, because I want to have a look for those other two secrets, and I feel I missed an area. Oh, there's up here, which I didn't explore. And there. <laughs> it's just giblets raining from on high. That's an elevator. Okay. We. Break that. Neat. What is that? No, oh, it's just a green glow from the uh, hole. Nice effect. I do like the lighting in Quake 2. It's done very well. And. Though the shadows still have that issue that you can see them through the floor there. Ow. There we go. I had full health at one point. Those were nice times. I got into the next area and this whole side part here was, uh... Yeah, it wouldn't be optional, would it? Maybe? No, it didn't count as a secret. Oh, that's the uh, data disk. Find functioning data spinner in outer courts. Okay, so, yeah, this was something I needed to do. Okay. Oh, did that just extend the bridge here? Find communications laser data disk in Upper Palace. So what's the secondary objective for? Just in case you feel like it? No, no, because those are uh, required for you to do for to complete the primary objectives. Primary objectives are like your overarching thing and the secondary objectives are sort of the steps you take along the way. Uh. Okay. And this just leads back to here. I think there's an another secret in this area somewhere. Because I pressed that switch. Actually, that switch was for the, uh... Ooh. No? Hmm. 
Oh, that's nice, having the, like, the, uh, industrial sounds hanging around and all that. The game could do is a bit more ambient sound like that, I feel. A lot of the areas in the earlier levels, I thought, were very quiet when the music stopped. Aside from the background explosions. Okay, well, there didn't seem to be anything there. Ooh. Well, hello, that's something. Do I have to press that switch there? And then run there? Let's have a try. Pressing jump when you're swimming doesn't seem to make you go faster. It just seems to slow you down. I have such a habit of pressing jump when in the water to swim upwards quickly. That it didn't really occur to me that it might not be a thing in Quake 2. Ow! No! Wrong! Damn it. So it's not that. Is there a button somewhere I can shoot? Does it deactivate when I deactivate like... Wait, what was that? Oh. Um, are you alright, sir? Do you need help? <laughs> Your torso is, uh... <laughs> okay. Well, there he goes. He ascended. <laughs> Ow! Damn it! Let me save. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, still four out of five secrets. I thought that was a loading... ...thing. Lower palace. Yeah, it is. What you gonna do about it? Oh, it's you guys. Hey, we blew up their cover! What? Secret. One out of six secrets. No. Oh. There's a little shooty thing in the wall there. Damn it! Ruining my perfect health. Now this reminds me of Quake 1. Shooting enemies through grids with a grenade launcher. And uh, There is actually an option for bloom in the settings. I turned it on, but I turned it off pretty quickly. It's very excessive. Oh boy, he's coming to get me. Where did all my health go? <laughs> they stole it! Ah!
Okay, we got him. Health, 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 health. Someone playing silly buggers up here. Oh. Okay. Punk. It looks like we're going to be turning off red force fields, so I have to keep in mind that area we came from. So that we can revisit it. Oh, he got pretty far. Aww. Ooh, stuff. Ooh. Um. I'm glad I got through that. I'm telling them to do these things, but they're not doing it. Why? They're all dead. Oh. That's no excuse. Oh, hello. It's a uh, brain. still don't really know what their deal is. They don't really seem to have that much of an attack. Aside from the shield, I suppose the shield's the... You know, the thing they bring to the table. But they're not used in coordination with other units too often. They just tend to be packs on their own. So if they're designed to just absorb your damage, they're not really used in that action. And there we go! Uh, let's head all the way back. And those guys seem to be pretty much just like the, uh, airborne sort of jetpack guys. They're just bigger, slower. Okay, so we went up there. Let's go back down here. And... There we go. Ooh, do we actually have to come here? No, secret area. And I think we got a red key card. Okay. If any of these areas are required like that, that's... that's maybe not the best. That's really rather hidden. Okay, and opened elsewhere. Is that door just like perpetually trying to open? Uh. Oh, there you are. No. No. Okay.
Nice. I kind of wish there was a few different de uh, death animations for them. Oh. Zap. I think a bit of a problem with picking up the red key card is I'm not going to know where I use the red key card. I don't think so. Because if you've already got it, I don't think the door actually mentions you need it. Because of course you don't need it when you've got it. But I'm not going to know what's the secret area. And with all these doors looking red... I like how the railgun just floors them. Uh, when you hit them, that is. Damn it. That would have hit if I could shoot through walls. Yeah, they're just... I don't know, they're slow, they've only got a melee attack, they've got shields, but... I like their death animations still, though. Uh, ooh, hello. There we go. Boop. Wait. No? No boop? Fight communications laser data CD in Upper Palace. Oh. Okay. Let's go find this CD. Come on. And there. And there. And there. And there. There we go. Ugh. Found a secret gun trap. You have found a secret gun trap is disabled. Oh. Oh, and well, that puts up a wall in front of it. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Can I turn that back on? What do you mean I can't turn it back on? Oh, it's going to be smart. Okay, that's up here. I wouldn't have to jump across those, would I? I doubt that. This game hasn't really required parkour like that. 
Oh. Why does it always put me on the last save? On the most recent save. Anyway. Huh? No. Oh, I just break my legs a little bit. Okay. Duh! Right, I wasn't expecting that. I just shot that because it was there. Um. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, that's that. Okay. There's something behind here. No. Boop. Uh, let's save. There we go. Up. Hmm. Hmm. That's another transition. Is this to the upper palace? Yep. There's a giant laser crystal thing there. Where is it? There it is. Excellent. They were looking at a silencer or something. Oh, do we have to keep deactivating them or something? Boom! And I saw that. There was an Iron Maiden there. Is that a technician? Yeah, it is. Where? Oh, jeez. Where'd all my health go? One hit point save. Shotgun guard. We'll get this. Come on, where are you? Oh! That's so fast! Quick on the draw! Fine! <laughs> Where'd the other one go? Oh, come on! I shot him totally! It's just like, where? Okay, forget this! I am going to go back a level and pick up some health. Because I had full health when I came from here. Unless enemies have spawned in here. Can't drop down there. I don't have any health. 
I do have an invulnerability. I could use that, but that's just a waste against. That nothing? That looks like it's something. We have a disabled destroyer on communication later. Is there uh, no health around here? Yee. Didn't see me. Oh, okay. That did something. Is that like turning off the lights or something? Oh, it opened that door. Well, okay, let's go this way then. Oh, that just loops around to here? Yeah, it does. Okay, so it's just a shortcut. What's that other button do then? See, if I push this... That opens that. Where's this go? Upper Palace. God, this place is a maze. Ah! They're coming from above. Can I shoot those? No, I can't. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a hard maiden. Supposed to blow them up to, uh... Ow. 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 Well. That was... Quite the series of events. Uh... What's with... I'm not dead yet. What's with this game spawning all these... Well, of course, forgiven. Maybe.
Sorry, bud. Oh, there's nothing there. Now I just feel bad. Do a save. Can I shoot any of these soldiers from down here? Get crushed by elevators. Okay, is that everyone? Nice. Ladders. Oh. Okay, okay, there's yellow force fields. That's um, good to know, I suppose. So where is the power for the yellow force fields going to be? Security pass grants access to force field control chamber. Well, nice. Another silencer. Do a save. Are we going for time? Ah, perfectly fine. Ah, ow. Uh, get that. So where'd the security control center be? Hmm. Down here. Yeah, great weapon to have out. I mean, it's not useless. It kills things. Security pass required to deactivate yellow force fields. Hey. Don't I have to press a switch? Oh, thank you! That's one out of seven secrets. Can I shoot that ladder and lower it? No. I have no idea where I am or what I... or what's going on. Ah! Wait, hang on. Does this light mean anything? No. Is it just leading me to here? Like, this isn't a power conduit for the, uh... Yellow security... Ow! Door, is it? No, no, they're just lights. Oh, down we go. I half feel it might not be in this area.
Okay, let's head back. And I don't know, wander around some more until I manage to find something which will help me advance, I suppose. I need to dash the CD. Yeah, that's what I thought this was for. Red. I have to. I, I kind of assume that the uh, security fields are not before ones you've turned off previously. That seems like it would add in a bit too much, you know, potential locations for it. Up. That was a good jump. Hmm. Well, that looks yellow security-ish. That yellow thingy on the wall. Got everyone. There's the other shield. Okay. Is that the other side of that? Yes, it is. Okay. That looks important. No? Maybe that's their communication array and I don't want to be dist- oh. Behold! <laughs> the mighty, uh, data CD. Wait, hang on. Did that actually do something when I shot it? Because that was lowered over there. That changed. Security pass approved. You may enter force field control. Hey. Neat. Yes, yes. Uh. At least those turrets aren't aiming for me specifically. There's stuff up there. Shoot that. Oh. oh, great. I found a secret area. And I didn't use the thing which protects me against lava. That was just a series of mistakes. <laughs> Uh. 
Do I... Do up. Okay, let's go back to... Wherever... Reprogram data spinner at central computer. I suppose that's the data spinner. Now I want to have a look at that uh, yellow force field area, which was up before. That was just over here, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, that just leads back there. Was there anywhere else here which was behind a yellow force field? kind of odd that, uh, well, I was going to say having security clearance means you just turn off the force fields everywhere. <laughs> I suppose it's like different alert levels perhaps. And if you're like, commander has to go to the command room, shut down the uh, yellow security fields. It's like, but anyone can get in when they're off. Okay, that was the green security fields. Uh oh. Where'd you come from? Is that one of those technicians? Ah, uh, yes it is. Come on, you. And... There we go. And let's go get that technician. Bean can. Oh, two of them! Okay. I don't want to do that yet. Um. Oh, hello. You were just waiting patiently for me up here, weren't you? There we go. Ugh. Uh, still doesn't answer my question how I get over there. I don't just shoot it. I keep thinking the lights on the walls are like buttons. Okay, let's go this way. Is there a way to turn that off? There's a button for the other one. Oh, yeah. That's just to the security area. Okay. At least you can put the shield up. No. Oh, let's go do that disc. I feel like there's a lot of uh, passages. There's like 
the force fields which you can deactivate to lead to something but maybe it's all stuff you just have to do to get to the uh to advance in the level No. New program accepted. Insert data spinner in next console. This one. Data spinner inserted for reprogramming. Data spinner is now pre-programmed. Access compete key keyboard to return data spinner. It's like in a, one of those grabby arm things you get, like the ro the robo arms. Shut down communication laser in Upper Palace. We have a mission. Let's go do that. Uh, ooh, that was some health. Hello, sword. What else around here? No. Wait. Oh. One more to go. You found a secret. Yay. Whoopee. Another quad damage. But I've already got a quad damage. <clears throat> Pardon me. I've already got a quad damage. And save. Okay, so we have to go up here. What's over here? Is it going to be a door which is like you can't go through here. Yep. <laughs> oh, hang on. No, there's more explosion generators. And that don't do nothing. Okay. Oh, is this where I had to go? Warning, communications laser shut down. Shut down. Uh oh. Explosions? Locate and use exit from Palace. Lovely. What's over here? There and there. Ooh. That's the exit. What's this other thing then? Oh, that's there. Okay. Get me out of here! Hold on. I don't... I don't like how it's got it weapons in the uh, inventory along with your items. If there's nothing under here, I am going to reload. Oh, there isn't. Okay.
And... Boop. Take me away, drop pod. Boom. I keep thinking it's going to do something there. It's just like showing you part of the level. I think Quake 1 did that, but... Locate and destroy Strong Leader. Pursue Macron to Inner Chamber. I think we're nearly done with this. That's cool. Hey! hey. Uh. Uh oh. Yeah. Yo, what? Oh. Is that how you open the door? <laughs> Someone's having a chuckle. Oh, no secrets. Okay. Boop. Do I have the BFG? 10,000. I do. Okay. Oh, that was close. It's good to know Macron has a sense of humor about all this. I'm coming for you. I have my giant. That's Macron. I, I think I just wasted two shots. <laughs> Boop. Boop. Macron actually looks. What? What? Jeez, game, you scared me for a moment there. Macaron actually looks like the uh, brains. Interesting. So are they like the original uh, inhabitants? Or at least he reminds you of the brains. Someone's stuck in there. One more to go. Ladders. <laughs> Stairs. Okay. Right. Boop. Are we going to get a good panoramic view or something? Final showdown. Loading maps. Boss2.bsp. Yeah. Okay, there. Good. 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 Loading play is done. It's the game running the episodes, running the, um, running the, uh, levels like it would be running multiplayer maps. Hmm. Different music, too. And we're in space! Hmm. Are we on a spaceship or something? This 
escape pods. Escape pod sealed. Escape pod sealed. Escape pod sealed. Okay. Oh, that's him. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Do I have an invincibility? And quad damage. Eat this. Not that. Where is it? <laughs> Come on, game. Boom! You're joking. Hello. Wow, that was like a one ho one hit kill. <laughs> It's just like a brain on legs. Uh oh. Well, that was pretty easy. <laughs> I feel like doing that again, but without quad damage, because that was a. Uh... Locate an open escape pod. That's how you open a door. Oh, hello! It's a, uh... It's a, uh, what's it called? Developer room? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. that was John Carmack. Donna Jackson, id mom. Photo not available. Kevin Cloud, art. Oh, I like the arts in this game. The processing power required must be insane! <laughs> <laughs> it's having to calculate four times the amount of damage which I do normally. <laughs> I annihilated that boss so hard that the game, uh, <laughs> that the game lagged. Who is this? Doesn't have a name. Okay. What's this? Brian Hook Programming. <laughs> okay. I'm happy. I found this, actually. I wasn't expecting to do this. John Cash Programming. Oh, that's so... You know, if I said that my dad had kind of similar glasses, except I think my dad's glasses were a bit thicker than that. Todd Holland said, Holland said, is. They put like a little smiley face or something on his head. <laughs> Paul Steed Art. Ow! Damn it. is ow Barrett Alexander biz yeah that would be that one is it I suppose Kristen and cow design <laughs> uh, uh oh yeah something <laughs> Brian Jason design ha 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 oh Infinite puke. <laughs> Must be something he ate. American McGee designed. Aww. Blew up. And who's this? Paul Jacke? Jackie? Jackie's design. And Tim Willett's design. I was going to say it looks like the guy from Seinfeld. George Costanza. <laughs> but I think it's just the glasses. Way. Ow. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> ah, pool. Well, all of the uh, immediacy of the situation is completely out the window. Yep, yep. You just uh, keep on doing... Keep on enjoying, this place isn't going to blow up or anything. Is this just like a congratulations or something? American McGee, that gives you an idea for my stream. Stream American McGee's Alice. 
that's actually quite tempting. I had it played the demo of American McGee's Alice, and I did enjoy it as sort of, uh, you know, the kind of era of 3D platforming it is. But I, ha I haven't got, I haven't got it. But I did play the demo, and I did enjoy it. It's a weird game, from what I remember. So yes, sure. I'll have to look into that. Okay, well. I like it when there's a developer room. That's fun. Oop, and escape pod. Get me out of here. Oh. That's an escape pod? <laughs> oh, I see. It was an asteroid base. Kaboo! No, oh, the developers. Oh well. We live. The end. Um, credits? Music or anything? It's a great game. It used to come with a version of Alice Madness Returns on Steam, but Spicy Horse shut down and EA pulled it from Steam. It's on Origin now. No idea if it includes the first game as well on Origin. Ah, hmm. Well. Anyway, I have to think about it. I mean, certainly, it seems, it, it seems, from what I remember, it's an interesting game. The end. Is that it? That is it. Okay. No credits. No end, no end, uh, credit, no, no end music or anything like that. Well, I suppose that was Quake 2. That was pretty fun. I do think I still would prefer Quake 1. And not really just because of the uh, environment, uh, not just because of the setting. I think maybe the loadout in Quake 1 works a bit better. This is very, um, if I load up my uh, last save. Here we go. Because I have pretty much all the weapons, I think. Let's see, we have the pistol, which I prefer the shotgun as a basic base weapon in Quake 1 to the pistol. The pistol is, I pretty much use this just for opening walls, which you have to shoot. But it's nice to have an infinite ammunition fallback. This is good, especially, it, 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 um, particularly also for medium range, because it's got a pretty tight spread. The super shotgun, as uh, wiggly as those polys are, is very good for close range, of course, but long range, you know, it goes all over the place, so you don't use it for that. Um, it's basically like the super shotgun in Doom. Uh, this, I suppose it's a machine gun, submachine gun. It's all right. It's useful mostly for the guards or the uh, grunt guys because they have low health and you can just mow through them. Also, it's pretty accurate at long distances even, or at medium distances. Yeah, so it's all right for like enemies which are a bit further away, but I felt maybe it was just a bit too piddly to use most to use that often. This is very good, especially for tough enemies. It, it fires quickly, but then it, it's got a uh, wind down. It has a wind down on it before you can fire it again. I think I've just run out of ammunition for it. The grenade launcher. I suppose it's basically the same as it is in Quake 1. I wish the grenades were as visible as they were in Quake 1. In this, they're just like the little, uh... The little grey pellets, and they don't really show up that easily. So, they might look like the little round grenade down there. But yeah, I wasn't using this as often. I enjoyed in Quake 1 how the grenade launcher was kind of the go-to weapon for... Uh, uh, dealing with enemies, but in this, 
I didn't use it as often. And the enemies had so much health that often I had to go for something more powerful. The rocket launcher is good. It's a rocket launcher. Shoot it at things which you want to die, explode and do lots of damage to. The uh, hyper... I think it's called a hyper blaster? It's like a plasma gun. It's got a good accuracy, even at long range. High firing rate. Uh, again though, you have to wait for the barrel to stop spinning before you can start firing again. So if you're shooting at multiple enemies and you don't want to waste bullets by like spraying between them, you know, like this, you have to wait for it to stop before you can start shooting at another enemy. And I found that put me off using it too much if there was more than one enemy because in the time it took for the barrel to stop spinning and for me to start firing again, I would take damage because I wasn't killing the enemies fast enough. I could dodge more, but... Yeah. Uh, Railgun. It's it's great. It's fine. Instant hit. Does it go through walls, which is what I believe it does in Quake 3. Uh, and it doesn't have the scope on it, I don't think. Let me have a look. I'm pretty sure... I feel like I saw that there was alt fire. Alternative attack. Mouse 2. But I don't know if any of the weapons have alternate attacks. So... Maybe that's only a multiplayer thing? Hmm. And there's also activate fit under E, but again, in this game, you just bump into things or shoot them to activate them, which is like in Quake 1, which is fine. Um. But yeah, railgun, fine. It's great. It does a lot of damage, instant hit, very good against tough targets. BFG 10,000. I believe using it on the final boss was the only time I used it. And I suppose mostly that was just because I was saving it for the last boss. It... I assume it works like it does in Doom. Um, possibly it shoots out lightning bolts to any enemies which are nearby and then explodes in a large radius. That's something which I think I mentioned in one of my earlier episodes. The explosions on the weapons perhaps doesn't show how big, or doesn't give a very good idea of how big the radius of the shots are. I mean, you have this 2D explosion, which I assume the explosion area is about the size of that. I feel like it could be maybe a bit bigger than that. Maybe 50% again? Maybe even twice as big. Um, Because I felt often I was, like, shooting grenades and I wasn't hitting things. Because the explosions are very small. Um, oh yeah, also, there's a... Where is it? Where is... Ooh. Um... Point. No, wait, there is also grenades. Uh, where are they? Uh, do I not have grenades? No, I had grenades earlier on. No homing missiles for homing missile launcher. I never got homing missiles. If they were in the uh, main uh, campaign, then I missed them. I don't know why it's showing off all that. Oh, there's a the grenades. I rarely ever use these. That, uh, twist animation to arm them is neat, but you have to hold it down to fire them further, is it? Yeah. But that takes so long. Am I cooking them? Yes, I am. Again, no alt fire. I rarely ever use the grenades. The grenade launcher, which uses the same ammunition, is so much easier. And it fires them f further all the time, so once I got this I pretty much forgot about the uh, grenades. So yes, as for the enemy types, uh, there's a good variety. Uh, the grunts, I was surprised that they came with different weapons, but thinking of Doom I suppose that's not too surprising. 
Um, it was a bit difficult to tell which weapons they had, though, until they started shooting me. Oftentimes it didn't matter because they're so easy to kill. Um, if there was any visual difference, it didn't matter because they died so quickly that, you know, they didn't get a chance to. The variant strokes. There's the melee ones with, like, the hammer and the spike on their arm. They were fine. The AI is perhaps not the best. They were always running around bumping off walls and getting stuck in door frames and all that, so they weren't that much of a threat. They did corner me sometimes, but I don't think I ever died to them or really took damage from them. Uh, the ones which have the machine gun on their hand and they fire the volleys of grenades, they're a threat. The grenade clusters they throw is the biggest issue. I died quite a few times to that because they have very short firing uh what's it called they have a very short uh wind up to firing a volley of grenades and the grenades explode on contact if they hit you otherwise they bounce around on the ground and they blow up if you step on them so that was a problem um also their machine gun mini the machine gun attack was quite nasty because they just pull it out and fire quickly uh then there was a the railgun strog they were nasty if they caught you unawares. You could just avoid them by just sidestepping because instant hit. You know, as long as you're moving left or right, you can uh, avoid their attack. That's, you know, to be expected. Um, I did find that they were able to shoot pretty much if they, if you could see them, they could see you and shoot you. So if you were like looking at them from like here and they were just over the edge there, they could shoot you and I don't know. I, th I think that was how it was. It's an, uh, on a bit of a side thing. It's interesting how in Quake 2, I don't know if this was the thing in Quake, uh, but because the weapons are offset to the side, when I fire, that is hit scan, but they're emanating from the barrel of the gun. They're not emanating from the center. So if I'm like this with my gun behind the wall and with my targeting crosshair, over an enemy over there, I can't hit it because I just shoot the wall. That applies for, I believe, all weapons. Yeah, that even shoots a bit further beside where the actual gun is. So that's a bit of a problem. Even that. Um, I can't remember. I don't think I'm going to be able to remember all the strog. Uh, there was the big tough guys which had the machine gun and the, uh, like, rocket launcher mounted on their shoulders. They were, they were, they were a good challenge. They made me pull up whenever I saw them because they've got so much health. Um, there was the ones which I was calling the big booty strong. They were, I think, they're like medics. They were regenerating or resurrecting the, uh, dead soldiers. Uh, like, what's it called? Like, um... Art files, and I think they had an attack, but they didn't really use it on me too much. I think they had like a laser attack. Uh, they did show up every now and then. I think I went back actually when I went to the, got to the palace, and the game had spawned like two or three of them, and they had resurrected all the guys around there. Uh, a good usage of them, also being able to. You know, make use of the enemies you previously defeated to repopulate an area. Uh, there's the Iron Maidens. Their rocket launcher armed infantry. Um, they're fine. They, 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 there's pretty much all that there is to them. Um, what else was there? There was the uh, brains with the shields. I think I said, I said earlier, I don't really know what to think of them. They're melee units, they have a shield. I feel like with the shield they're supposed to be screening the other units so that your attacks hit the shield and not the uh, other guys, but they were never used really in combination with other units, part of me. Just bumped my pop filter. Uh, they were often using clusters of just them, and they move slowly, their melee attack is pretty weak, so... Maybe they're just there as a representation of like the actual strong and how ineffective they are so they need these soldiers to be able to defend themselves or something like that. I haven't read up on any of these units. Let's actually have a look. 
I'm going to see what a wiki says about these units. Uh, Quake to enemies. Because I haven't read up on any of them. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, there's Light Guard, who's the armed with the blaster. The Shotgun, shotgun Guard. They, he does have more health. And the Machine Gun Guard. Yeah, they each have more health. 20, 30, 40. Barracuda Shark. Are those, those large fangly fish? They are. Okay. Those were all right. They never caught me, really. Their bite attack, I think, had a bit of wind-up to them. Flyer. That's the jetpack guys, is it? Oh, no, those are the little uh, drones. Okay. Uh, they were... They worked pretty well. They were small enough that they didn't get stuck in the environment too often, and they were sort of always aiming at you and sort of circle strafing around you. That worked well. Uh, the Enforcer is oh those are those chunkier uh sort of um grunts which have the chain gun and a club in melee yeah they hit you with their chain gun in melee uh they were they weren't used too often later on they had um here yeah, let me let me maybe No. Can I bring up something? Uh, just so that people have something to look at while I'm yabbering on. Okay. And can I... I used to be able to drop and drag things into OBS. Uh, hold up. I'm going to add image. Yeah, create new. Okay. Browse desktop. And it's called Wait, I can't load. Because oh, it's a Will that work? Uh, okay. Here we go. This is a few of the enemies in the game anyway. We just have something so that we can have a look at them while I am talking about them. So, uh, this is from the uh, Quake wiki. Uh, so we have... Can I point these out with my mouse? I'm not too sure. Uh, in the middle there we have the uh, grunts and all that. And then we have one of the guys with the uh, one of the flying guys. Let's see. Ah, the uh, parasites. The parasite is this dog one in the front. Uh, Four-legged cyborg with a human head. It launches an organic tr tube at you and drains your health. They were annoying. Uh, their tube, which they launch at you, is hit pretty much instantly. And when you take damage in Quake 2, uh, the more damage you take consecutively, the more red your screen goes. Which made it difficult to see <laughs> when you uh, took a lot, took when you were getting shot like by a machine gunner or something, or one of these parasites. Um, oh, you can jump on top of it, apparently. Um... Yeah, they're annoying. They were tougher than th that my shotgun wasn't able to uh wasn't able to deal with them easily on the uh, in in a short amount of time before they were able to attack me. Uh the gunner, which is not actually in this image. Uh the gunner is the one with the uh grenade launcher and the machine gun. So, I talked about those. Uh the iron maidens, uh the technicians, which I was calling the uh I was calling the uh, baked bean cans. Uh, technician and not really designed for combat. Yeah, right. They're easy to kill. They're a nuisance. Yeah, I found th they're not that big of a threat. They're big and they kept getting stuck on the environment. 
I mean, you know, okay. Kudos to the game for having units which aren't just for fighting you. It's interesting having some more variety in there just to sort of show that they do things when they're not shooting you. You know, just general maintenance and all that. It builds backstory and all that. Uh, the Berserker, which is the melee strog. Yeah, as I said, they weren't too much of a problem because I kept running around bumping off walls. Uh, there's the Icarus. Oh, that's the jetpack guy. Okay. Uh, twin Blasters. They weren't too bad. You had to sort of wait for them to descend. Because, again, they sort of... I think the biggest issue I had in Quake 2 was the pathing for a lot of the units. They sort of run around a bit and get, like, stuck and all that. Which makes it easier to deal with them. And I don't expect them to all be, like, you know, fantastic AI. But I feel that the levels were working against them to a degree. Um... Off, a bit more often than it should be. Uh, the medic. Ah, that's the uh, that's the uh, big booty strogs. Uh, they have a rapid fire blaster for a right arm, and they also have the ability to revive any enemy in the game as long as a uh, corpse and not gibbed. As soon as it sees a corpse, it will make a beeline towards it. As it's reviving an enemy, the enemy will grow bright red. Glow bright red. Okay. Um, yeah, just, they didn't show up too much, but that's fine, I suppose. Uh, mutants! Yeah, that's right. There was the, uh, mutants, which were the... They were like the, uh, what's it called? The... Re... What are they... Oh, what are they called? The, uh... Reapers? No. The, uh, dog, like... The, the, the uh, enemies which jumped at you in Quake 1. Um, they only showed up a bit. And not too problematic. Brains. Okay, let's see what the wiki says about brains. There is a brain on this image. It's right at the back there. Uh, brains is a strange, strong creature constructed from a grim mixture of human and mechanical body parts. Isn't that all strong? It has a small stereo camera in place of a head, two arm hooks, multiple hooked tentacles within its open chest cavity which is sometimes unleashed on nearby enemies to bring them within range of its arm hooks. Oh, interesting, so it can actually pull you towards it? And a powerful energy shield that's able to absorb a lot of gunfire. However, perhaps as a result of all the equipment it carries, or because of some unresolved flaw in its creation process, the brain is by far the slowest enemy in the game, making it easy to avoid outmaneuver and dispatch. Yeah. I never found them that big of a threat. I don't think they ever really, they even really hurt me. Hmm. Interesting enemy. I like them, how they sort of stumble about and all that. And the death animation is very amusing. Gladiators are the ones with the rail guns. As I said, they were uh, difficult to deal with. Tanks. No, oh, that's actually what they're called. Um, tanks are the arm big armored guys. They were a threat. And then you have the tank commanders, which are the, uh, I assume the ones with the red on them, which we're facing in the later level. Yep. And then there is the super tank, which I believe was a boss. Yes, it is. We actually saw another one in one of the later levels. Uh, they defend highly important sectors of a city, including the laser grid in Unit 3 and the power plant in Unit 6. So yes, and we only encountered them twice. And the first one was the biggest threat. The second one was in a drop down area which kind of made it a bit <laughs> easy to cheese uh, but they were neat I like the design overall for the weapon for the um, units they're nice sort of chunky mechanical with biological parts remaining and all that it, it's neat and they've got the very they've got the, the kind of sort of we don't care about aesthetics we just want to make it efficient which is uh, I think works really well with this kind of you know cyborgish unit type or cyborgish um, faction design uh, the Hornet which is the flying boss with these multiple legs I think I called it like the Mantis or something uh, human head and torso popping out of a large bug like body with six insect leg type legs dangling down again there was it wasn't that difficult Apparent, what's its weapons twin chain gun and quad rocket launcher yeah, but again, I feel like it being a flying unit worked against it. 
because I was able to like dodge it easily on the platform I was fought the first one on and again often it was sort of trying to maneuver around to just navigate the environment uh Jorg the strong exoskeleton oh that's the uh thing Macron was in okay well we destroy that incredibly easily uh Oh, actually, let's have a look at this. This is uh, something about adrenaline here. Uh, in Quake 2, adrenaline is a pickup that permanently increases the player's maximum health by one. Oh, that's how my health was increasing. Okay. As well as instantly boosting the player's health to the new maximum. They are the rarest health power-up in the game, but all players new in should take some time out for destroying a supply train or shutting down a factory to have a wander around and find these special items. You can find over 40 pickups, which means an increase of 40%. Oh, I only found 14 of them, so there's a lot more of them to find. I think I had a maximum of 14 by the end. Of 114 health. Okay, so that was what was increasing my damage. Yeah, try to save a quad damage from its previous fight from this fight from previous levels, as it would be a great help to activate it just before the fight starts. You can drop Gorg in a Jorg in a blink, give its corpse, and confront the Macron right away. Oh, is that what I had to do? Okay. What's this weapons? Twin chain guns and a BFG 10,000. Oh, it had a BFG 10,000. Okay. And Macron. Macron is the code name given to humans to the supreme leader of the Strog, chosen from the warlords based on strength, power, and endurance. Macron resides in the northern area of Cerberon in the palace city where he commands the planet. Macron serves as a link for all the Strog, and his death would be catastrophic for their forces as they are left confused and in turmoil. As a mix of group, as a mixed a group, the Strog are a mixed group of species with cybernetic implants, with Macron being the most extreme example as it's just an organic brain sitting in a large robotic battle suit. Uh, what's his attacks? A light blaster, a railgun, and he's got a BFG 10,000? Hmm. Okay. F when I fought him, he was just standing there. Oh, I just got the id gallery. So after defeating him, the id gallery opens up with all the, uh, with all the, uh, <laughs> all the developers and all that. Okay. So, get rid of that. And we'll go back into the game. So, yeah, I think overall that's my thoughts. Level wise, the levels are fine. It's a lot of industrial stuff. Quake 2 is a game set in an industrial city. It works with a strong aesthetic. It did kind of perhaps get a little samey. But there was the mines, and the styling did change over the years. I think my favourite levels were possibly the later ones. The uh, palace, in particular, I think, was done really well. Uh, I don't think I had any problems overall with the levels. Going back and forth between them, because they're designed in units with, like, transitions between different areas, is an interesting way to do things. Though with a minimap, it would have made navigating it easier. I think that's something I said in Quake 1. Uh, I just really miss having a minimap like in Heretic and Doom. Um, there was maps on the walls in some of the levels, but the low resolution of the textures meant that I couldn't really read them. Uh, it may seem like I sang a lot of negative things about the game. I did enjoy it. Um, it was fun, and I'm glad that I've played it. I think I do, as I said, I do think I enjoy Quake 1 more than Quake 2. Um, and as I said, that's not just because of the setting. Um, I think the loadout worked better. Now I'm, rip, now I'm just looping back onto the beginning. So, that will be it for Quake 2. Thank you very much for joining me. And I hope you'll join me for whatever I do next. I'll stop the recording here.